Canvas Speed Grader is, the way it's set up is really nice. So you have on one, on one box in Canvas, you have the answer that the student gave or the paper or whatever it is. On the right-hand column, you have a place to write comments. You have your place for your grading rubric, and you can enter grades there. So everything's side by side. Uh, you are able to read and comment at the same time. Um, that's really efficient. You don't have to flip back and forth across two tabs. Uh, that makes it easier to grade. I'm able to just click the rubric. Uh, again, to compare to Angel, when you would open a grading rubric on Angel, it would open in a separate window. Um, if you're using two monitors, it wasn't horrible, but like if I'm working at home on my laptop, it was really, it could be a pain. So this is so much more efficient, uh, big time more efficient. And the nice thing too is when I enter a comment, I know it goes straight to the student, actually emails to them, so I don't have to go and write a separate email if I have a concern or something like that. Whenever I go and click grades, it gives me a list of all the things that I've, t all my, the assignments I've had, their individual grades, and then it gives me my final grade at the bottom that's always added up. On communication with the students, it's very convenient. You have two basic ways of doing it. You have a broad announcement you can send to the class, and if the instructor wishes, students can comment upon those announcements. It can be a real plus. You can also send individual emails, and that's quite flexible. One of the very nice things is, any email you set in, send inside of Canvas can go to your regular email and back and forth. And finally, when students do an assignment, they can leave a question with that assignment and then you can respond to it. It's good because they have the, the messages and so there are ways to communicate with the class and also with the professor so there's different um, forms that you can use and every time my uh, professor gives me a message, it pops up so I have the little icon and so I know that there's something that I need to see and I can reply to it right there. Canvas has been easy for me to learn from a teaching side of things. Um, I've been lucky enough to have someone set everything up for me. Uh, so I've only had to learn from a grading side and from a, from a presentation side. I've started migrating many of my other classes uh, for the fall and spring, uh, and it, it's very intuitive. I, I, think that if, I think that at the end of the day, it becomes more intuitive than, than Angel. Um, it's just new software to learn. But certainly from the side of delivering content, I've had no problems with it. And, and the speed grader it was probably the most intuitive thing that I've dealt with. I think it's a lot easier to use. I think it's a lot more straightforward. It's anytime I need to find something, I can find it within a couple seconds. There's no hoops to jump through or anything like that. One thing that, that really helps with, with Canvas is that students can see everything they have to do for the semester up front. They don't have to click an individual folder to see what's inside it. Um, and I believe that lets them see the bigger picture earlier. Uh, so, for example, in uh, a, so a research methods course I teach, um, the entirety of the course is set up to, uh, to, there's a final paper in the course. And the way that Canvas sets things up is the students get to see how each part interconnects if they look ahead of time. Whereas um, in the past, they would have to click a folder for each lesson, and it's just not right in front of them. So I think that it lets them see the bigger picture a lot easier. Whenever I took my class on Canvas, they have uh, modules instead of where you can go and look at different uh, assignments and whatnot. And so if I want to use Canvas, they break it up where they have different lessons, and then each lesson has a video. And so I can just watch those videos along with what's going on. And so there's more for me to be able to use whenever I need to learn something.